Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Beauty Blogging 101. We've gone through the introductory episode where I told you why I was embarking on the series and you know literally took it on a journey, my own beauty blogging journey where I started why and you know why I decided to do this. I hope you've watched lesson one, five important questions you need to ask before you start a beauty blog. If you haven't, there will be a link under this video in the information section and of course there's a link to the video here and of course in the my left hand side there is also a link to that video. If you haven't watched that video, um, I think you need to if you are just starting a beauty blog and if you are not, perhaps you can skip it and just move right along to this one. I know why I want to start a beauty blog or a blog in general. I know what I want to be focusing on. I know what the purpose will be. I know what I want to write about and I know who I'm writing it to. I've figured out how I'm going to you know, be uploading my content and making sure that stuff gets put up on the blog regularly. But then, after that, what's next? What's next is another list. What's next is another list, but this time around it's a list of six, it's not a list of five, and they're not necessarily questions, they're actually things that you do need. Now, these are things you actually need, they're not things you think you need, which is um, one of the challenges a lot of, a lot of us bloggers face. We think we need some things to succeed in our blog, but they're not really the things we need. We need a whole set of other things. And that is what this lesson, lesson two, is going to be focusing on. What you actually need to start a blog. You need a new mindset. When I first put this lesson together, I didn't include this, but I had to go back. And not only did I include it, I included it as the first thing that you actually need, you must have, you know, in the next step to establishing your blog. Blogging will change your life. It will change your life. It will take over. If you let it, it will take over your life. A new mindset is key. It can take over your life. It will if you let it. So you need to have the strength courage, the persistence and the perseverance to control it and to do all that you need a new mindset, you need a mindset that is strong, a mindset that can take you places and a mindset that can give you the control you need over your blog so it doesn't take over. You need, after having a new mindset, you need a name, you need a domain, you need a logo, you need to have brand colors and you need to have a design for your blog, a site design or a site layout. <laughs> I know some of you are going to find these things strange. You probably were thinking you know they need DSLR or you needed to have, you know, like a bag of goodies, you know, free products and freebies or you needed to, you know, know the PR people attached to beauty brands or know the owners themselves so you could get products. I've been there. I really have been there, but I mean, years of experience have taught me that those are actually not the things I need. I, I just basically need these things that I've listed here right now. You, you, you get there. You need those things, yes. You want those things. You probably, you know, but to start your blog, those are not the things you need. <laughs> so, a name. What are people going to call your blog? <laughs> Yet in the eats or the let's make up or something. I mean, when I started, mine was called Babs's Musings because it was supposed to be, you know, a blog about the things that go through my head as regards makeup. But Babs's Musings didn't quite cut it. It didn't actually focus on the things that I needed it to focus on and so I changed it. I rebranded and uh, it became Barbara and 1923 and now it is more in line with what I wanted to be in line with. It evokes curiosity. People ask, oh what's that about? And then they immediately want to know what my blog is about, what I write about, the type of person I am. You know, that's 
the type of thing I want. I want it to be attention grabbing. For purposes of musings, would have been perfect if it was like, you know, lifestyle or vlogging channel or something. But I mean, like, you guys know how many vlogs I have on my YouTube channel and how many vlogs I have on my Facebook page. I'm not used to that. So, of course, that didn't work and I changed it to Barbara in 1923. You need to brainstorm a name. You have to look for a name. You have to get the name, the name that totally and absolutely fits the name that is uniquely you uniquely yours the name that is perfect if you don't get the right name five years down the line you'll be either too ashamed of the name you currently have or you'll be <laughs> looking searching for another name you absolutely need to get the name that fits you fits your content and fits the brand you're trying to create you've gotten your name You've, your mindset has changed. What next? I mean, you've probably started on .blogspot.com or .wordpress.com or one of many of them. Just imagine if I had to tell people to type in barbara1923.blogspot.com. <gasps> that is, it doesn't show that I'm serious about my blog. It doesn't show that I'm an organized person, or somebody who puts things first, knows what is important. It's just that I'm just one of the Joneses, literally. But now I just say Baba1923.com. I mean, it's classy, it's straightforward, it's easy to remember. I mean, it's my name. And, I mean, it's just short and straightforward. It tells people that I'm serious. It tells them that I'm in business. And most of all, it makes them take me seriously. Not only, not only do I have my domain name, I also have an email address attached to my domain name. It's me at barbara923.com. Just imagine if I had to write barbara923.blogspot.com on my business card. And people, it, not only is it long and cumbersome, it's just so ooh, not working at all for me or for you or for anybody at all. I have my domain listed on GoDaddy. Uh, if you want me to do like a um, video or a lesson on you know, hosting with GoDaddy, especially for people who want to migrate from Blogspot, you know, like change all those name servers and all those things, let me know because um, it took me a lot to do all that. I literally had to go to Google, you know, help desk and everything. So just let me know and I will do another video for that for those of you who want to use GoDaddy and don't know um, what you need to do to get your domain linked to your blog. But yeah, above all, you need a custom domain. That is all you, all yours, that works perfectly with your, the, the name you've gotten for yourself, the links both of them. You need to get a dot com, dot, a dot com. You need a logo. You must be thinking this is overkill, why is it? A logo brings everything together. A year, two years, three years down the line, you'll be wishing you had one. I had no logo when I first started, when I was still Babsy's Musings. I just had a huge B.O., which is my name and my son name, at the back of my business card. When I rebranded and I became Barbara Ann 1923, I totally knew that I needed a logo. So a colleague of mine created this cool logo for me. It was a fusion of the old and the new, classic and modern, with the gothic, old school um, antique font for Barbara and of course we have the 923 in a tag that looks like the tag that you get on a regular denim these days and you know it was really that really nice fusion and of course it fit my tagline perfectly my tagline is classic and comfortable that is what I'm all about that is what my blog is about that is what my brand is about it's classic and comfortable with your makeup and fashion and me as a person yeah, so that's what it's all about so you need you need to have your own logo you can have it custom made um, you can get somebody to do it for you you can pay for it believe me when I say it is not um, as big of a deal as you think it will be but it will take you a really long way if you get one and you need to have brand colors this is my personal favorite 
working in um, branding and marketing communications, I understand the importance of having brand colors. They literally guide guide your brand aesthetic, the appearance, look and feel of your brand or your blog as the case may be. Um, anywhere, online and even offline because for me, the colors for Barbara and 923 are black, grey, white and vintage gold which is a dark mustardy type of gold and it even sometimes dictates my dressing as well. But yeah, I mean people say, oh yeah, it was only natural for you to have eventually grow your hair out is that carrying natural hair but um it wasn't really something i thought about but i mean in the process of growing with my brand i you know evolved into that and I, I'm, I'm not i don't regret it i'm happy about it because it suits my brand and you know the persona i'm trying to you know put out there totally so what are your brand colors going to be? You have to make sure that the brand colors work, they complement each other, they're complementary, they don't clash. I know they say in fashion that clash is a new match, but really you have to think this through properly. And this takes us to the last one, you need to have a site design. Starting with Blogspot. I started a bit with one of the traditional themes, you know, I had boot load of widgets on both sides and then I had, um, there were so many things going on, the front wasn't even very visible, but then I didn't even know what brand colors were, so I had all sorts of colors going on, but I've always, one color I've always had, was I've always had gray, I don't know why, but I really like gray, so I started with that. A couple years down the line, I changed it. Um, I didn't really change it. I just took off some of the widgets, made it less cluttered, and then I rebranded. And I knew I had to change it, so I, you know, took a step back. I took a step back, lent an itsy bitsy, teeny weeny part, you know, um, thing about coding. And I customized it. I customized it a little. No, <laughs> scratch that. I customized it a lot. And I was so proud of it. I told everybody that cared to hear that I had designed my blog myself. I was so proud of it. And you know, I even got someone even paid me to design their blog for them too. And I was so proud. I should learn coding more about coding. Okay, yeah, so now I actually, you know, like paid for a side design from Etsy, customized it a little too, but it fits perfectly well with, you know, what I've been trying to do all along. A lot of Nigerian blogs these days are actually going for that white, simplistic, black and white, you know, look and feel. But yours doesn't have to be like that. There's so many blogs that, you know, are whimsical, or colorful, or bold. And you can actually go for any of them too. It, remember, remember, it has to fit you. It has to fit the brand you're trying to build. It has to fit your blog. Remember, it's a beauty blog. Beauty is all about aesthetic. Look and feel. It has to appeal to people. So even if you're going to wipe the ground, you can add a touch of color with pink and yellow and greens and blues. And you know, there's a wide spectrum of colors to choose from. Don't just pick one. Don't be bored. Six things that you actually need. Six things. You actually need them. You don't think you need them. They, you actually need them. Six things you need in the next step to building a successful blog. So once again, I hope you've learned something from this video. Um, I would like to know what your comments and your suggestions or contributions to this video are. I will be looking forward to reading them in the comment section below and even the questions that you have and what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video two thumbs up if possible. Share and yeah, I will be looking forward to reading um, everything you have to say in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.
in the next series. Um, yeah, and if you have any personal things you'd like to ask questions or anything of the sort, um, my email address will be in the info box down below. Just click more if you can't see it now. And um, yeah, I'll be looking forward to reading. I will reply. I will definitely reply your emails and I will reply your comments and your questions. Uh, I will respond. I'm looking forward to doing that. And yeah, ciao guys. See you next time.